Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is week eight. So I had one of those crazy weeks. So much happened during the week that I just lost track. I moved out of my apartment. I realized that I should probably sort of explain what's going on. For those of you who care about details and narrative and consistency, I was living in an apartment, but I um, owned a condo that was trashed and a couple of weeks ago I worked on completely rehabbing the condo with a friend of mine. That same friend is the friend whose home I'm now temporarily living in before the bigger move across the country. So that is why I'm here temporarily. It was to save some money on my lease. Okay, so I have some exciting news. Um, yesterday, I officially became a doctor. I was nervous. I was so nervous. You guys, I, my dissertation defense is in about two and a half hours, three hours. It's in three hours. I hate that it's an afternoon defense because my energy levels, are, they, they, they're low in the afternoon. I'm nervous. I know that I'm gonna pass, but I'm still nervous. I, the analogy that I've been giving my friends is you're running a marathon and you actually are very close to the finish line. It's right there. But you still know that the thing you're gonna remember is the photo that they take when you cross the finish line. So you have to muster up all the energy and smile smile for the camera or look like you're not, you know, exhausted. That's what a dissertation defense is. I want the picture to be a good picture. Prior to that, like that kind of took up a lot of my emotional, you know, energy. And as those of you who are following my channel know, what I'm trying to do at least for the next 30 days and uh, today would be day 14, is to do a keto paleo kind of diet where I'm basically just trying to eat better <laughs> um, and, and really low carb. And when I eat carbs, hopefully they are, the goal is that they are complex carbs. That's really what this is. So I've been doing really well for the last 14 days. Yesterday though was a celebration obviously and it was more of a treat day, a treat evening. So I did allow myself to have um, some not so complex carbs, some simple minded carbs, beer, I had a hot dog, I had, well actually that's totally fine on keto. I had chips. That's what it was. I had I had chips. I was happy about the chips. I felt like okay about that. The next morning, this morning, I feel like I have a carb hangover. Um, for those of you who do do keto, when you go like right into a simple carb after you've been in ketosis for a, a, you know X number of days, it's really icky. Um, I woke up not feeling so great. Granted, I had a lot to drink but I felt like digestively not okay. So when I do move off of keto, I wanna make sure that I'm doing that in a healthier way where I'm going, I'm not necessarily going straight for the you know potato chips. I'm going for like a, a, a real baked potato like I'm supposed to be doing. Either way, I don't feel bad about it at all. I'm today right back on keto, right back on low carb. I've been eating really well. One of the perks of living with my friend is that he is a chef. Like not really a chef, but this man can cook. This was a delicious like zoodle pasta. Oh, it was so, so good. And then the other thing that I did in terms of exercise. So I was able to get on my bike and I did about a 12 mile ride a couple days ago. And then before that, I moved all my stuff here, except for my bike, as you know, and I ended up walking back to my apartment, which is about a five mile walk. You guys, I made it. <laughs> so this is sweat and rain. Um, that took me almost two hours. 
I'm probably not gonna film myself riding my bike because of the rain and I don't wanna die. I'm excited because I just bought this new helmet and it's, isn't it cute? Like, I found this company, um, they're called Thousand. Um, I'll link them below if you think the helmet is cute. It's a little expensive, but it's like, I think it's worth it. I really like it a lot. So yeah, I ended up riding the bike back, which was way easier than walking there. I was really, I couldn't believe that it started to rain on me as I was walking. It was miserable. I think it, when you ride your bike as often as I like was riding it, I, I like forgot how to walk properly. I couldn't like, my arms weren't moving right. It was really strange. I, I don't know what to make of that. So, with all that being said, uh, I'm gonna keep this video pretty short. I still have to get organized and make this place like my temporary home for the next at least, I think two months. That That's about it. Here is my weigh-in results. So yeah, now I'm 173, again at 177 point something, right? I don't really do the whole point something. The scales do it, so if you care, there you go. I, to be fair, weighed in today after my like treat night. So I'm actually surprised I had a loss, which is a good sign for like next week. And uh, we're just gonna keep going, we're gonna keep doing it. I'm actually more excited about the way that my body is changing. I can feel like my clothes are fitting differently. And when you do keto, Sometimes you lose a lot of weight if you have a lot of weight to lose, but because you're burning fat, at least this is what I think the theory is, because you're burning fat, you may not actually lose a lot of weight on the scale, but your measurements will go down. So I did take my measurements at the beginning of this journey, and on July 15th, the premiere of the entire journey, just to kind of look and say, wow, okay, something did change, um, and... Is this something that I'm gonna try to adapt and make a part of my life? I've really enjoyed the last 14 days. I haven't felt deprived. I haven't felt like, oh man, I really, yeah, I really wish that I could eat, you know, crap, basically. Like, I feel good. I feel full. Okay, well, I am just gonna chill out for the rest of the day, recover from the intense partying of last night, and I will see you guys next week for week nine.